But since I was young, they said I won't be nothing. Now they always say congratulations. Work so hard, forgot how to vacation. Just make the worst mistake And you'll regret it, darling Cause once you give and then you take You only end up wanting Was everything not enough? Cause when do you wake up? And when you say, oh except for just an at the knee boot. I did an over the knee boot last year, but I decided to style something a little bit different because I do feel like my um, stretch suede over the knee boots are just so dressy and I really only pull them out for special occasions. It's not something that I grab on a daily, weekly, or even like just maybe a couple of times a month basis. I decided to style this guy for you and these are steven by steve madden i love that they're more of like <laughs> more of a wide shaft so they're not tight on my leg i feel like that's more of a modern look rather than an over the knee stretch suede boot which is which has been around for quite a while just kind of a modern new fresh look something that's casual but can be dressy at the same time i just feel like it is a little bit more versatile than my stretch suede over the knee boot what you will get out of this video is some outfit inspiration um to pull out your boots and to um you know don't be afraid to try new styles oh i just realized my suitcase is in the frame sorry don't be afraid to style new new a new style of boot you know just because the stretch over the knee suede boot has been around forever. You know, and the Stuart Weitzman one is very popular. It's a great investment, but don't be afraid to 
have like a fresh modern take on a new style of boot. Today I styled three outfits, was totally gonna do four for you guys, but I woke up and it is pouring rain outside. So um, you are getting three outfits, but it's three very different outfits as you saw in the lookbook. So I hope you're happy with it. For this look, I did this black dress from Topshop and I just love this dress so much. Um, I have a shorter, colorful version of this same dress and I just love the silhouette and I love that it's lace up in the back. I don't know if you can see. For work, if you wear a blazer over, it's like casual with some um, maybe like military lace up style boots. So I just love black dresses like this that have fun detailing and just are so different and unique. And I did this harness belt with it. I don't know where this starts and where it stops. This is really cute. So it's just like a, it's basically a harness belt. It almost gives you like an overall effect, like a stud overall effect, and then it belts in the back. But it's fun. I feel like you could do this with a t-shirt, you could do it with a sweater, um, you can do it with a romper. So I just feel like cool things like this really take just kind of a basic piece to the next level. I did the boot with it just because I really wanted to show you guys how much I love the boot under the dress um, look. That's one of my favorite looks. I just think it looks so like chic, especially in an office environment, wearing like a midi skirt um, with like an over the knee boot up into it. And I really like the wide shaft boot whenever it goes up into the skirt because I feel like when you're, when you're wearing a skin tight boot, it almost looks like tights, like tights with built in feet. <laughs> So with this, it kind of gives you that like, oh, slouchy boot, slouchy skirt, um, and then more of like a fitted top. So that's kind of the look I was trying to go for with this. Next, I did this comfy ass sweater from Zara. And I will say the first time I put this on, it itches so bad. Um, and Jenna has it too. And she was like, doesn't it feel like little ants biting you all over your body? And I was like, yeah. But someone said if you wash it, then the itch goes away. And I washed it and it's actually not as bad as it was, but it's still kind of itchy. So definitely going to be layering a shirt under this. I love the sleeve. I just think it's such a cool, slouchy, effortless, kind of big sweater, cozy look, which I love. I did it with basic black jeans and the boots just because I was going for a super casual look. And then I paired a Baker Boy hat with it because I just feel like it kind of took the outfit like in a complete turnaround. I feel like when you add a Baker Boy hat to an outfit, it just kind of makes it a little bit more trendy and a little bit more like you tried <laughs> rather than just throwing on a big sweater and heading out the door. Um, don't get me wrong, I love that look, but I also really love my Baker Boy hat. My next outfit was inspired by me checking the weather that day because I'm going home for Thanksgiving and the weather in Texas is like, 70 degrees like 72 degrees and I was like, okay I need to like represent the people who were in a little bit warmer Climate and it was actually warmer that day in New York. So I wasn't I wasn't freezing cold But I do want to try to cater to everyone's climate. So I did some suede shorts Which I cannot find here. They are these shorts. They're suede. They are great fall and winter shorts with tights Obviously when it gets cold, wear some tights, wear some over the knee boots. Um, but I just like love the dimension, like the different texture and dimension of boots, tights, and shorts because you've got like suede, sheer tight, and then leather. I just think it's like a really good combination overall. Um, I did not do tights just because my tights are in storage still and I need to go get them. But uh, yeah, add tights if you need to. If not, just show a little bit of leg. I really love when whenever you have shorts kind of short like this you have like a high, high boots where just like a little bit of your leg is showing. I think that's like one of my favorite looks with shorts or a skirt. Did this tweed kind of cardigan blazer jacket thing. What's that? Um, just love the colors on this. I love the fringe. This is actually really great belted. If you kind of crisscross it and belt it, it is so cute. I just wanted to do like an all black look with like a pop of texture and color. And I was really happy with the way this look turned out. It was kind of exactly what I was going for. I wish my shorts were just a tad longer, but they're elastic waist, so they kept like riding up. Um, yeah, you could do a skirt, you could do, um, you could even do this look with jeans or trousers, but I don't know, I really love cardigans like this because, I don't know, I can like wrap this up when I'm at home lounging or I can wear it out. 
So I really love pieces like this. All right, so those are the three looks that I have for you guys. I really hope that you loved them. And also let me know your favorite look in the comments below. I always like to ask you guys because if you're liking certain pieces, then I can keep styling them. Don't forget to check out the Life by Her lookbook. You know I'm, I'm gonna talk about that because I'm so proud of it and I'm proud of everything that it's become. But I will put the link in the description box and the link here. It's basically, um, Jenna and I create a monthly style digital magazine for all of our all of our life by her peeps and um, It's really fun. So come join us. You have a Facebook community and everything Let me know other other items you want to see styled in the comments too and like, I don't know what to do with my hands all of a sudden I will see you guys in my next video. Bye